one quote that I find extremely problematic is hope for the best but expect the worst. How does that work? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Oluwa Tumilara. I am a self-reinvention coach and spoken word artist, okay? So this is the third video in our series, Defeating Your Worst Enemy, You. Okay, okay. <laughs> In this video, we're going to be talking about overthinking and assumption as a tool for self-sabotage. Last week, we talked about self-deception as a tool for self-sabotage. We are going to dive deep, okay? We are going to dive deep into this one. Are you guys ready? So the thing is, we're not fools, okay? We don't just go around wrecking havoc with the same tool all the time. We switch it up from time to time, girl. We do it. <laughs> One way that we truly stand in our own way is through overthinking. You know, we simply just elaborate the obstacles. We assume the worst of situations. We make a mountain out of a molehill. Perhaps a person experienced failure. They tell themselves that they're not good enough and they will never amount to anything. When an opportunity comes up in future, they protect themselves. They protect that lie. You remember self-deception from the very first video or second video? If you've not seen it, you should check it out. They protect that lie. They protect that lie. They overthink. They overanalyze. They cause judgment to every opportunity that comes to them. They just imagine the worst case scenario. They make an assumption that, oh, this is how it's going to end. And guess what? They back out. I want you guys to notice how this person employs self-deception as the first tool. You know, when failure comes, they say, okay, I'm not good enough. I'm never going to amount to anything. Now, they employ self-deception as their first tool. They use overthinking and assumption to build upon this foundation that they've created. And there and there, self-sabotage, just like that. Lie to yourself that you're not good enough. Now, when, whenever an opportunity comes up for you to show the world, for you to show yourself that you are actually good enough, that you'd actually amount to something, you say, no, God, no. What is the worst thing that could happen here? And then you continue to ruminate over that. You continue to chew and chew and chew until it actually seems real. And then you just don't do it. And then you hear some such person say, hope for the best, but expect the worst. When honestly, they do not hope at all. They refrain from hoping because they know that to hold on to hope is to hold on to the possibility of actually achieving. And to hold on to that possibility is also to put themselves out there and hold on to the possibility of them actually failing and continually proving to themselves that they are not good enough. Don't get me wrong, we can't be foolish. You can't always take a leap of faith. You have to analyze. You have to make sure that you're seeing everything clearly. You have to be sure that the failures or the chances of you failing is not higher than the chances of you winning. You know, you have to actually calculate these things, take calculated risk. But when you always approach a situation with pessimism, when you always exaggerate the worst scenario over the possible best scenario, when you always make an, one obstacle seem like it's the end of the world, then you might actually have a problem with overthinking. Overthinkers don't often think positively. Most overthinkers think of the most negative scenarios because this world has put trauma and pain in their path that they know so much so that pain is easier to come by than joy. So overthinkers don't think of joy. Overthinkers most times think of the worst. Overthinking is a tool that your enemy uses to destroy you. And now that you know that you're your own worst enemy, what are you going to do about it? Are you always going to approach situations with the worst case scenarios? Are you always going to approach situations with pessimism and stop yourself from starting? Stop yourself from beginning. Stop yourself from even continuing. So if you continually think about the worst, then you continually put yourself in the position to sabotage the possibilities and your options. To sabotage yourself. Would you begin to check if there's a solution to those problems? Would you begin to check if the good outweighs the bad? Overthinking and assumption. Your enemy, you. <laughs> Your enemy uses it. Oh, that was good. <laughs> that one was good. <laughs> Guys, tell me about it. Do you often overthink too? Put it down in the comment section. Have you been following this series? What have you been picking out? Have you been picking out your own self-sabotage tools? Is overthinking is one of your biggest tools? What do you think about the overthinker? What do you think about using overthinking as a tool for self-sabotage? I want to know all about this in the comment section, okay? And until next time, boo, I'm sending you love, light, and laughter. Peace. Oops, just a little bit.